Okay, uh, welcome everyone. My name is Andrew Moore. Um, I'm representing uh, UNESCO on this particular occasion. And um, I'm here really to introduce this, uh, this unit, well, this workshop. We, the workshop is designed for people who want to uh, f facilitate online courses, and particularly the Kenyan ICT CFT course. Um, we need a couple of uh, online facilitators to help our teachers work their way through, and we're hoping we can draw those facilitators from amongst yourselves. So what are we going to achieve today? Today we've got quite a, um, a busy schedule. Uh, first of all, we are going to just have a quick look at the Kenyan ICT CFT course, what's involved, what's its scope, how does it work, and so we'll get a general overview of the course that we would like you to uh, facilitate online. Then we're going to divide you up into units. There are actually 14 units in the uh, in the course and we would like a couple of you allocated to each of the units so we're going to do that and then we'll start looking at what is online facilitation and why is it different from teaching like we have done before so we're going to look at facilitator roles what are the roles that you must play and we're also going to look at facilitator competencies what are the competencies you should have if you're going to be a good uh, facilitator and then we're going to get to the nitty-gritty and actually try and work through some of those roles and competencies. For example, we'll spend some time uh, managing the learning process. How do you make sure that uh, you are supporting the students and engaging them in the learning process? We're also going to look at how do you manage the social interactions that happen in the course amongst the peers and amongst the guests who might come in. And that includes conflict management. If there's a flare-up, uh, how do you contain that and control it? Uh, we're also going to be looking at the management of the course itself. It's a Moodle environment. How do you manage uh, that things are happening? How do you track students and see that they're on track and that they're doing enough uh, within the time allowed? And also right at the end, we're going to look a little bit at of technical support. How do you support the students when there are technical issues? And we're going to look at a couple of little ideas there. And hopefully, you're also going to make a video similar to this to introduce your unit. So that's kind of the, the outcome or the product that we're hoping to have at the end of this course. Okay, enough chat. Let's get on with it. <laughs> 